How's it going everybody? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you guys might be. So today we're going to continue our ranked 1v1 climb to diamond. It's been a little while since I made my last video in ranked 1v1 so I figured now is a good time and we're going to continue going random because I like to play every legend in the game. It doesn't really matter to me who I get. Yes, I do like playing some legends more than others but it doesn't matter. Like I, I still like playing all the legends so... And I feel like I can get to diamond with any legend. All right, so we're doing ranked to uh, ranked one v one with random to diamond, and I just so happened to get Bryn or Barbara, who's a crossover for Bryn. And Bryn just so happens to be my highest level legend. That doesn't mean I'm the best with Bryn, uh, but it does mean I'm the most experienced with her, for sure. Axe versus Axe, let's go! Already I can see he seems weak to weapon throws. Oh boy, we gotta watch out for that Taros neutral sig. And I went right into it, of course. <laughs> wow. Alright, he got me with the neutral sig, I'll give him that, that was a good one. I probably should have just challenged a little earlier. Let's not let that happen again. <laughs> He's got the hammer now, so at least we don't have to worry about the axe neutral sig. Oh, 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 ho, ho. goodbye, Taros. Destroyed with the spear. I love hitting that neutral sig as a gravity cancel on spear and sending him up flying. I don't know, man. This last time I had axe versus axe, I lost, so I'm a little nervous. Oh, all right, and then we hit with a couple sigs. He fights very similarly to me. This is kind of like a... It feels like I'm fighting myself. Way too early. Wow. I should have done down sig there. I'm doing a little bit better here with the spear than I was with the axe, I feel like. Maybe not. <laughs> Taros! Hold still! Ooh, nice one, nice one, nice one. He's in deep red! Ooh, that dodge in! Got him the axe right to the face. Alright, we're in a pretty good position here. Other than the fact that I'm in deep red as well. And I could die at any moment. We do have a lead, at, at least. Especially with Taros, like, literally one hit, not- okay. Wow. I just could not hit him. Alright, final stocks. We got a slight, slight lead. Taros isn't so bad unless you're in red. Oh, no, no, no. Not the neutral sig again. Okay. We survived. All we have to do is damage him up. Try not to get hit. Taro swings very slow. If we can dodge the swing and then punish like that. Dodge the swing and punish. Dodge the swing and punish. That's all you got to do against Taro. So it's easier said than done. You got to have a little bravery because you got to get up close to personal. But every time he whiffs, we punish. GG. GG. Well played, dude. Well played. We had some calculated hits right there. Usually when I get Barbara or Bryn, I don't lose just because Bryn is my highest level legend. But all right, we got a new peak elo. Let's go. All right. All right. So this time we got Reno. Reno is the newest legend in Brahalla. And even though I got black colors for Reno, I haven't, I feel like I'm a little bit rusty <laughs> because I haven't played Reno in a while. But um, let's go. Since I got black colors, basically, I've been playing other legends, but it's okay. I love that he's using those Jormungandr Mako Katars. Those are pretty cool on Caspian. Oh, you want to fight on here under the stage? This is actually my favorite place to fight. Little did you know, Caspian. I'm always, like, not very confident with blasters, but I feel like I actually do, like, better than I, than I think I can do. 
And that's probably the, the same with like most weapons. Like you, if you think you're bad with a weapon, just try playing that weapon a little bit more and you realize it's actually easier to be good with a weapon than you think because the weapons are all pretty balanced. They're all really good. You can be good with any weapon. Gotta remember how to use orb because it's been a minute since I really played an orb legend here. Uh-oh, gauntlets. Ooh, that was a good move. He came at us with those gauntlets, trying to get a gimp on us, and we ended up gimping him, so... I feel like gauntlets... Like, orb is better versus gauntlets. What do you guys think about that? Now we just try to do as much damage as we can before we die. Try not to die. Get a little bit of damage. Every little tiny little hit that I get here is helping increase our lead. If you, if you get in a position like this where you're ahead, just try to survive and do as much damage as possible before you die. I would love to hit with that neutral sig because there it is. Because he is always floating. Oh man. I just sat there and took that. Oh well. We got a pretty good lead here. <laughs> Note to self, don't just sit on the side of the stage when they have gauntlets. Reno is actually fun. I, I have not played Reno in a bit. Get down, Caspian! Reno SIGs are fun too. But if I had to pick between Caspian or Reno to play for the rest of my life, I would choose Caspian. I just like Caspian better. <laughs> I think Caspian has better SIGs. And I think Caspian has more fun weapons. I like Katars a lot and Gauntlets. Not gonna gimp me like that. Get off of my stage. Let's go. All right, we got a nice lead. We're cruising to victory here as long as we don't mess up. Random to diamond, baby. Let's go. He's really trying to go into his own mind there. Notice how he doesn't like to come down here? That's okay. If he doesn't want to fight us down there, we'll come to him. It doesn't matter to me. Although I would prefer to fight down here. Just because it's, it's more intense. No, no gauntlet neutral airs on me. Not today. Oh, he wants to just chill on the edge? You, you want to play like this Caspian? It's actually smart for him because gauntlets are really good at gimping off the edge and he's losing so he's trying to trying to get those gimp KOs. We're not going to play into that. Ooh, nice side zig. All right. He's trying different strategies now, I think, to see if he can get something to work, but as I feel like if we just fight him on the stage, we should have this win. But if I go off stage, he's got a little bit of a chance to gimp me, so I don't want to do that. GG dude, GG, well played. He was kind of just chilling on the edge, hoping we would go over there and he could gauntlet gimp us, but I'm not going to fall for that. <laughs> well played dude, well played. Alright, let's keep it going, random to diamond baby. What we get? Oh, Sir Roland, nice. I actually like playing Sir Roland a lot. His signatures are so fun, and we even got the King Knight, which has even better looking signatures. Uh, sipping on my tea, playing some Brahalla. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> Drop a like on this video if you guys enjoy. Don't forget to uh, go outside today, get some fresh air, touch some grass, hug a tree, get connected with nature. Gaming is our love and our passion, but we are humans of the earth and we need to go outside sometimes to feel good so far we're doing pretty good I mean I guess because the, the sword is a little bit faster than the axe okay now he switched to guitars I also really like Ragnar, but if I had to choose between Ragnar or Sir Roland, I might pick Sir Roland. I don't know. It's a hard choice for me. 
He likes to float right above me, which is fine because when I have a sword, I'll just recover. <laughs> Man, this lance looks amazing. <laughs> this is one of my favorite lances now. They say axe is good versus lance. But that doesn't mean we can't do some damage here. Make our lead even bigger. I don't have to kill him with the lance, I just need to damage him a little bit. Even if I have to use my fists, I would damage you up. Ooh, we barely dodged that side sig. Getting him all the way to red. Don't know why I threw that away, but it worked out. Oh, I meant to do a down light, not a neutral light. <laughs> oh yeah, we're looking at three stock. He tried to get me with that axe side sig and we just did a little defensive move. Oh wow. He, he did a side heavy even though he fell off the stage, it still hit me. All right, he's already in yellow. He's on final stock. Now's our time. We can get this elo one step closer to diamond. Oh yeah, neutral sig right in the face. Dodge. Okay, he did dodge it. <laughs> Ouch. Home run. Maybe I get him another time with that home run. I would love to get the last KO with the home run. It feels so good. Oh yeah, Brad. You're not gonna get me going above me. Or not Brynn, Ragnar. <laughs> I don't want to call him Brynn. Home run! Home run! Okay. There it is. GG dude, GG. I was trying to get that home run, like a down light home run, but couldn't really get it. GG dude, well played, well played. Alright guys, I think we're going to do at least one more. Let's keep going. We're, we're So far we've won every game. Alright, we got Tigress. The way I like to play ranked, I know ranked can be very stressful guys, so like... If you, if the way I play it, if I win more than I lose, like that's great, you know? Sometimes I lose more than I win. Uh, not, not so much in ranked anymore, but it used to be like that. Like, now I'm pretty good, so I can get diamond and I usually win more than I lose. But, like guys, it took me hundreds and hundreds and probably even thousands of losses before I got to this point. So don't feel like I just was always good at this game. Like. It's okay to lose in ranked. You're gonna get better. Every single time you play the game, you're getting better. Your brain is getting better at the game. You know, so try not to try not to feel bad if you get a bunch of losses in a row. All right, here we go. Last match, we're going against a Artemis. A black Artemis. I think that skin is called Nemesis Artemis, but I could be wrong, I forget. Artemis is actually one of my favorite legends, for real. All right. Tigress. We are Azuri. Gosh, I love these Tigress signatures too. They look so cool. You got the monkey coming out. You got the, the mantis. The... Oh yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to get him with a dunk. Oh, he's using my lance. My favorite lance. Oh yeah, let's get that dunk. Oh man, the claws. The claws are too fast. Let's try to get some damage off before he takes our first stock here. We should be able to get quite a bit of damage here. Gotta watch out for that sight. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Ooh! Wow. Almost got the double dunk. And we're looking at another three sock. Let's go! I didn't know if that first dunk was even going to hit him. I don't play Azuri that often, so I'm not used to how OP the neutral sig is. But it is, I mean, it's incredible. It feels like you grab almost anything. Nice. 
All right. We got a big lead here, so we just got to damage her up without taking it much damage ourselves, and we'll be fine. I can tell Artemis starting to get a feel for the scythe. Starting to hit us a little bit more often. We gotta let her know who's boss. Oh, I almost got with that side zig. She is in red. We just need the finishing blow. Bye bye, GG, well played. All right, we got it. We're doing pretty good this morning. Man, we did pretty good this morning. Ranked 1v1 using random. So far, all wins. And guys, like I said, it's okay if you're not getting all wins. I've been there, trust me. When I first started Brawlhalla, I had hundreds of, of losses, like I said. So just keep trying, keep practicing. You will get better. Sometimes it takes a long time. I've been playing this game for like five or six years and I'm nowhere near as good as the pros, but you know, eventually you can get to a point where you can beat most people, I think, if you practice. As always, guys, this is Lucian Sword. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like. Be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. As always, take it easy, friends.